the Vikings, an ancient warrior branch of the Norse, a Germanic tribe who once settled within Scandinavia. They spoke Old Norse and flourished between 800 and 1300 AD, during which they rampaged across most of the Northern Hemisphere, trading the booty via their Northern European homelands which grew across wide areas of Northern, Central, Eastern, and Western Europe. And the best, it seems, they reserved for themselves, the Hohen Horde being an impressive example. The biggest ever publicly known find of Viking gold, it is a testament to the Vikings' taste, technological abilities, and indeed wealth. Found in 1875 on Hohen Farm in Avra Eiker, Buskerud, Norway, it was discovered during digging works near the Dramenselva River in Buskerud linking vital travel routes during the Viking Age for the control of goods between the inner parts of eastern Norway and the coast. The hoard totaled 206 pieces, of which 54 were gold or silver objects, 20 solid gold coins, 132 beads of glass and semi-precious stones, and much more. In 1996, Signe Horn Fuglesang and the Center for Viking and Medieval Studies of the University of Oslo initiated a renewed study of the Hohen Horde, splitting the Horde for specific investigation from different select specialists, including 14 authors who contributed to its monograph. Interestingly, neither silver nor gold was mined within Scandinavia during the Viking period, and thus both metals had to have been imported. We know that Arabic dirhams were a major source of silver, fueling the Viking silver economy. But where did their gold come from? The principal source was actually pre-Viking, gold works usually of late Roman and early Byzantine, including gold coins from as early as the 5th to early 6th centuries AD. Huge quantities of priceless gold relics, including bracelets, rings, ingots, and brooches, eventually deposited in hoards, with Scandinavia alone, according to archaeologist Latte Hediger amounting to over 50 kilograms of discoveries, the Hohen Horde containing a massive 2.59 kilograms of this. It provides a glimpse of what sort of golden objects must have come into Viking hands during the 9th century. The best items were often preserved in their original form, with others melted down to fashion new ornaments in a Scandinavian style. We may never know who hid the Hohen Horde but the insight it gives us into this once incredibly successful and indeed highly enigmatic group has proven invaluable.